Um, Volcanus? I don't know. Just finish her off if you can. I swear to God, if he has three health. 26. Toffee, you had better be able. Oh no, isn't it from this. over here for his other special? Or maybe I should just go with the pillow drop. I got this. Okay, so. Time to bust <sighs> Overly complicated. Just kill her. Thank you. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to get Fuka to go after. You know what? Yeah, just use Pretty Kaiser X. Wouldn't be able to hit them either way. Yeah, might as well just pull out all the big guns. Anyway, he can actually hit them, or... Oh, cool. Uh, might as well have your, you use Yog sothoth I don't know if it'll destroy everything, but the other way it'll look cool. And what can you hit, little boy? All three of them? Well, why not? Let the execution begin! He still gets 8,000 frickin' damage on it. So I have one enemy, and I all have to do is just break a box that can't even attack me. I think I've pretty much won this. Unless she magically kills everyone in one turn. Okay, at least I haven't gotten tired of this one yet. Can you even kill her? Because I kind of doubt you now. And that was one of his most powerful attacks. Okay, um... I'm gonna try it again. You better kill her. God damn it, Fenric. Okay, you guys... Yeah, full out of... Well, you don't have any... You know what? You might as well. Um. Okay, you can fast forward those. Okay, so oh, still got nothing. Just uh, Bloody Mary, Marshall transform. Okay, move one step closer, Marshall Transformer. Okay. You, I guess... Mega Wind again. Tyrant Fluchud. And you might as well attack her. Because apparently all the aliens are women in this game. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fast forward through some of these. <laughs> okay, we're good. Ah, oh, it would've been better if I killed her. Oh well. Device has been destroyed. No. Black hole time. What's gonna happen to us? Please, no black hole. 
If it goes out of control and creates a black hole, it will be over. Actually, I actually um, one of my professors at the university actually studies black holes. I asked him about the theoretical possibility of a black hole opening on the moon. Apparently, it'll be slow. The moon will slowly get sucked in, and yeah, it'll act as a gravitational force for a while, but it'll basically be a very slow catastrophe. Oh Not as instantaneous as I originally thought. Guys. Then how about you dream us some fucking shields? How about that? Oh, that's that. Aren't you the girl who aims to take over the world? Yeah, she's admitted that even. Well, that was <coughs> back when I was five. Yeah, now you're a ninth grader and it hasn't changed much. <laughs> Sometimes I really admire how strong you guys are in times of crisis. You know, that machine is really taking its time on blowing up. Lady Archangel, please grant us protection. Is it not gonna stop? Okay, there we go. It stopped! The explosions are over! Michael Bay has been defeated! My lord, looks like we've won our bet. We've successfully stopped the destruction of the moon. Nope, it's not that easy. Plus, the ignition switch said it was number one. Nope, not yet. God damn it, Nemo. Sorry. There's actually another ignition device somewhere else. You can't <coughs> stop the destruction until you turn that one off, too. <coughs> This man, how did he come to the moon even though he's human? Really? He's pretty much appeared everywhere else on Earth. Appeared everywhere else. Probably doesn't really surprise me that he could teleport. He was visiting the netherworld too. I'm sure he has ways to get to the moon. I still find that strange. The way that I say something and then they say the exact same thing. Judge Nemo! I heard you were... Right, because we would have to go ask you specifically for your consent on blowing up the moon. Now, now, calm down. Humans are destined to go extinct. But that's because of the inevitable heat death of the universe. Or is that of the sun? They're nothing but the pests of the universe, so naturally, aliens have decided to exterminate. Oh, come on, I know we're annoying our own planet, but what have we done to them? And just destroy the Earth. Why sacrifice the moon along with them? Well, the only thing they want to get rid of are the humans. They're gonna reuse the Earth later, so they don't want to make a big mess. How would blowing up the moon not cause a big mess? Not really a large scale, that just seems kind of natural. The Earth would still have plenty of resources left to use. Plus, we could just demolish everything that the Earthlings have built, just reuse all the materials there. Hell, in Mass Effect, you go to planets and take ore from them, so... But destroying the moon <coughs> will affect more than just the humans. Didn't they think about that? We're talking about a universal scale here. I'm sure they don't care if a small sacrifice has to be made. Some workers were even complaining about how much of a pain it would be to exterminate only the humans. No, that's horrible. That's when Judge Nemo came around. Oh god, he's turned third person. Destroying the moon would have been done a long time ago. I held it off for a while. <laughs> So he convinced them that his plan to unleash a giant tentacle monster to destroy the world would have been less damage causing? It wasn't all that hard to convince the universe to go with my plan, since it was going to end with the same results. But you guys ruined my Earth friendly plan. And that's why the moon is getting blown up? Why are you trying to get this all up? But it's true. You if you guys didn't interfere with my plan, the Earth would have been left unharmed. <coughs> we don't care about the planet, we care about the people. This discussion is pointless. We have no intention of destroying the moon or the Earth. The 
what aliens intend to do by playing God, we're not going to give in so easily. I won't allow some aliens to evaluate and judge the future of our worlds. Yeah, but... Salvatores, aren't you doing the exact same thing? Judging and evaluating? But the scale of the Supreme Conference is much, much bigger than yours. Watch your filth mouth, human. No matter how... My lord is offering to help those pests that were forsaken by some moronic aliens. That's the scale of a true ruler. A ruler who only knows how to discard. <laughs> You're placing your inadequacies on a pedestal and posing as a god. How irritating. Tell me about it. My <laughs> And let the universe know the legitimacy of Tyrant Valvatores' scale. Well said, Fenric. You flatter me. <laughs> Demons preaching about righteousness, huh? This is just sad. It's as if I'm watching a bad comedy. I'm a little embarrassed by how obsessive Fen Fen is about Valsy. As usual. Still, I agree with them. Fuka Kazumatsuri totally supports Valsy. If she didn't say that, I'm pretty sure there'd just be a floating corpse in space. Desko gives her support to Miss Valsy. <laughs> as a representative of the Netherworld, I support him as well. I'm sure Father feels the same way too. Representative? You don't exactly have a job, kid. By celestial law, angels are forbidden to support demons. But I support Mr. Vampire as well, as an individual. Hmm. <laughs> well, then I have no choice but to respond to all of your support. I promise all of you here. I will stop the destruction of the moon and save the Earth! Oh, there's another promise. This shall be a declaration to the entire spell. A demon will save the Earth. Not the first time it's happened. Sure, go ahead and try it. And then realize how useless you really are. You won't save a single soul. Just like that one time. Ooh. That one time? What was he talking about? Probably how he let... Oh, I forgot what her, na her actual name was. Artina die? Yeah. Okay, so... I love how the short maps always have extremely long cutscenes. Oh well. Guess I'll see you guys later. Bye!